In this video, I will show you how to configure VLANs and VLAN trunking on MicroTik router. Let's begin. In the previous video, I showed you how to configure the WAN, the LAN and also the LAN bridge which we added ports 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, we will create VLANs and VLAN trunking. Go to VLAN. Click on the plus sign to add. For this demo, we will give a name of admin assuming it's for the admin network. Now, you need to enter the VLAN ID. We will assign VLAN 5. Next is the interface where you want to bind this VLAN. For this demo, we will assign it to the LAN bridge, you can assign it to any port you prefer. Click OK to apply the changes. You can see the newly created VLAN. The name is admin, VLAN ID of 5 and it's assigned to LAN bridge or LAN interface. If we go back to interfaces, you can see the sub interface which is the admin VLAN and it's assigned to LAN bridge. Again, ports 2 to 5 are the members of the LAN bridge. You can imagine this LAN bridge as a hardware switch. It has multiple ports within the same subnet. You can create multiple VLANs if you prefer. Let's create another VLAN. Let's assume it's for the guest network. VLAN ID of 100. We will bind it also to the LAN bridge. Again, you can choose any port you prefer. Click OK to apply. We have now two VLANs which are the admin and the guest. Admin with a VLAN ID of 5 and guest with a VLAN ID of 100. Both VLANs are assigned to the LAN bridge. Go back to interfaces and you can see the two VLANs under LAN bridge or to our LAN network. Next is we will create the addresses. First is we will create an address for admin network. Go to IP. Addresses. You can see the LAN bridge address which we created in the previous video. Now, click the plus sign to add a new address. We will assign the IP net mask of 192.168.5.254 with slash 24 subnet mask. 192.168.5.254 would be the gateway. Next is we will choose where to assign this address, we will choose the admin which is VLAN 5. Click OK to apply the changes. You can now see the newly created address assigned to admin or VLAN 5 interface. Next is we will configure the DHCP server for this interface. Go to IP. DHCP server. Under DHCP. Choose DHCP setup. Choose the interface where you want to assign the DHCP server which in our case is the admin or VLAN 5. Click next. DHCP address space is the network address. Click next. 192.168.5.254 is our admin DHCP gateway. Click next. Enter the DHCP range or DHCP pool. You can modify the range based on your preference. You can also add multiple ranges if you want. Click Next. For the DNS server, you can enter your internal DNS server if you have one. I don't have one so I will use the free public DNS. Google DNS is our primary and Cloudflare DNS is our secondary. Next is the least time, this is how long the DHCP clients hold the IP addresses received. We will change it to one day so that it will automatically be renewed every after 24 hours or one day. Click Next. DHCP setup has completed successfully. You can see the newly created DHCP server. We will rename it for our reference. Since it's for admin network then we will give a name of admin DHCP to make it simple. We have now two DHCP servers. LAN DHCP for LAN interface and the admin DHCP for the admin or VLAN 5 interface. If you look at the address pool, it automatically created the names. Best practice is also to rename these pools for our reference and also it would be very useful when it comes to troubleshooting and checking the logs. To do this, go to IP. Pools. First is we will change the DHCP pool 0 which is for the LAN we can change it to LAN pool for our reference. Same goes with the DHCP pool 1. We will change it to admin pool. Now, 
you can see LAN DHCP is using LAN pool. Also, admin DHCP is using admin pool. Again, this is very useful most especially when it comes to troubleshooting and if you have multiple LAN subnet and even checking the logs. Next is I will show you again how to configure the NAT. Go to IP. Firewall. Click on the plus sign to add a new NAT rule. Go to Action tab. Under Action, change to Masquerade. Now, go to General. Make sure the chain is set to SRC NAT or Source NAT. This will translate all your internal IP addresses to a public IP address before accessing the internet. Click OK to apply the changes. You can now see the newly created NAT rule. Let's go back to Interfaces. Since we assigned VLANs to this bridge interface then this interface is already a trunk. Again, these ports 2, 3, 4 and 5 are a member of the LAN bridge so they are now trunk ports. You can now connect your switch to any of these ports and assign VLANs based on your preference. Let's do a test. My laptop is connected to port 2 which is already a trunk. We will check my IP settings. You can see that I received the IP address of 10.1.1.199. If we check back the addresses, this is a member of the LAN bridge subnet. It received this IP address which is under VLAN 1 by default. You can also see the gateway which is 10.1.1.254. Let's also test to ping google.com which we can. This means we can access the internet. Now, let's test the admin or the VLAN 5. I'm not using a switch so I will configure my network adapter to VLAN 5. To change your network adapter VLAN ID, you need to use a USB to RJ45. This is optional for us to test the VLAN configuration. You don't need to do it if you have a switch. To change the VLAN ID. Open your network connections. Choose your network adapter. Right click on it then choose properties. Click on Internet Protocol version 4 then choose Configure. Go to Advanced tab. Scroll down and look for VLAN ID. Tick the value and enter the VLAN ID which in our case is 5. Click OK to save the changes. We will be disconnected from the MicroTick since we are currently connected through this network adapter. Since we enabled the DHCP server on VLAN 5 then let's wait for this network adapter to receive an IP address from the admin DHCP server. We reconnected to the MicroTick. This means, we already received IP address. Let's check the status. You can see that we received an IP address from VLAN 5 or admin. You can also see the default gateway. Let's open back the command prompt and test to ping google.com. Success. We received an IP address from VLAN 5 and also we can access the internet. You can also do the same process for the guest or VLAN 100. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.